I want to say that the first um, the Inside Thursday has come to seven and a half years, still growing. So thanks to the teams and generation of teams, the earlier uh, Carola, Carola and Victor and Caroline and Victor doing great job. So congratulations. It is. Uh, um, I've been thinking about this topic for some time, and as uh, someone like myself getting old, I just think about more about the past than uh, think about more about the past. Uh, I've been thinking about the past. Sometimes I think about what if, what if, what if or I wasn't in ADB, what if I wasn't studying in the U.S. But life cannot afford, does not permit that kind of counterfactuals. So another way to reflect the past is really to say that how much I have benefited from the colleagues, uh, bosses I've served, colleagues I've worked with. So today, I'd just like to share with you on this theme. I've been in the bank for 26 years since 91, so journey across. So on that topic, bosses and mentors, I think probably are so many I've learned from, benefited from, but, but not yet cried over their shoulders. There, there are different theories about the men and the mentoring, talking about the mentors, the coaches. Bosses are not supposed to be mentors. Coaches are, are different from mentors. To me, I take a very Confucian's view. What is a Confucian's view? It says, when you walk along with three persons, no, when you walk along with others, they may be your teachers. They serve your teachers. This is what I see. So, in fact, just before you start, and I noticed that a couple and other colleagues share the same view. It's not just one mentor. There are many, and there are many, and the bosses can also be your mentor. At least in my case, that's how, the, how it works. So my aim for this talk this afternoon, for our engagement, are the following. One is just to reflect and share. 26 years is too much to talk in the 30, uh, 15 minutes. So I give a few and, uh, snapshots, literally. And, uh, and this is the, my real hope, is to encourage all of us to reflect and share. And let us support the bank's mentoring initiative. And uh, if you Google ADB website, BPMC website, you do see a mentoring page and uh, list a lot of things. And uh, there are certain do's and don'ts and do's and don'ts if you go, go, go down below. Today, I ignore all those do's and, do's and don'ts. I just share with, uh, share with you my uh, testimony, so to speak, but in a very short uh, a few minutes time. Here are the few snapshots. Uh, I, I take uh, snapshots in terms of what we do, how, uh, who are we, and how we engage, and then, and then as a manager, heads of department, how do we need, uh, lead and manage. Oftentimes, you have also colleagues who you see, really you get inspired and aspires to be, and they may not even know that they are, uh, they are my mentors. And they were. So, to do technical competency. Over the years, I've really learned from so many, from the very beginning, from colleagues, from bosses, um, things to do, writing economic report, writing BTORs, and uh, participating in mission, processing mission and writing Appendix 3 on lessons learned. And from there, learn about uh, how to structure. So how do we organize so-called functional financing? And how to write a 
PCR when the project took 14 years to complete with records of tens of uh, 20 boxes. How you write a BTOR on that? So this was kind of, uh, not, not the BTOR, the, the PCRs. These were the lessons. Uh, this was the kind of uh, situation I have learned so much from <coughs> colleagues, from the bosses who give me the assignments, and from the mission leaders who gently nudged me. And uh, through building the confidence in me, and to building the confidence of me in them. So I have a list of colleagues, former bosses, colleagues. I actually wrote quite a bit of list, but since this is a snapshot, I'll name a few. Some of you who have been here long enough would know their names. Kaja Moinudin was my first YP boss. Some of you would know Kaja. Kaja is a great economist, China economist. I went, on, went with him for the first economic mission. The way he conducted mission, the way he write the Ed Memoir, I share, share with one. In the evening of that mission completed, he asked me to be in his hotel room. He sat there in his casual clothes. He says, bring your notebook. I bring my notebook, handwritten. He dictated to me the end memoir. It's so beautiful after I typed it. There's no need to edit it. So, yeah, that's the kind of ways I like to write my BTOR, write my end memoir. And Kaja, of course, many of you know, is so generous with his time, so generous with his colleagues. He was my first supervisor, and for many years after, he's been my boss. Continued to DJ. If you remember Kaja, Kaja had this writing board. He always write on his uh, uh, lap. And he, he don't do the computers, but now he, now does he, he does. He, don't, he didn't do the computer work, he just write it. And the, his secretary, Chona, would type it out. All our BTOs were, went through uh, his hand. Not to editing, not to mere editing, but really bring about the messages for us. That's how we learn. There are a couple of other colleagues I like to mention. This is the Chicago Usher. Some of you would remember. A World Bank manager who joined ADB as our first woman manager in the bank. First woman manager. I worked with her. She asked me to do, okay, we have a problem to understand the social sector's portfolios, disbursement, contract work, implementation, why it's so slow. Prepare a portfolio review and do that S-curve. Some of you would know the S-curve. When I started, I don't know. What, what, what was the S-curve? Go through that process, learn from it, understood the S-curve. Of course, in the meantime, we had other colleagues who contributed and who helped me to understand. Ram Pakash, who's still here working with uh, IED. He introduced me to the concept of functional financing. How to find finance to critical things with the financing, which is sure to happen. This is very practical but yet very, uh, 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 very uh, useful. To be, it's not just things to do, tasks we do, to be as a staff, as, as ADB staff, professional staff. What does the professional staff mean, all of us? On this, I've got the discipline, I've got the rebuke by my bosses. I take those as a mentoring opportunity and mentoring experience. One of, the, one of the head of department at a time, this was in early 2000, I don't name, I don't name the name, he called me into, into his office. He said, do you have a brain? I did something very 
you know, I did something I thought it was very clever. You see, when, at that time, we do the so-called targeted interventions, poverty, core, core target interventions. I said some, some of those are not really so-called targeted. I thought it was, it was very clever. Maybe I was right, but one thing I didn't. I may have the head, but I didn't have the heart. And he said, do you have the I didn't have the heart. That is about to communicate. How important it is to communicate in the bank, to share uh, things in advance, not to come as a surprise. Another rebuke, gentle rebuke, subtle rebuke. I was commenting, I was traveling with Jerry Van Linden, was my boss at the time, to Indonesia, talking about, ah, this country is hopeless. Countries, the department cannot coordinate. Jerry says, very, very gently to me, don't complain. Don't criticize others. Look at ourselves. No resonate? <laughs> this is the kind of, so in a way, what I, I took it as, you know, sometimes we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be, and we never to be self-righteous. It can't be self-righteous. It's about, uh, really about humble ourselves and learning ourselves. Third discipline, rebuke. Ifsa Ali, my great uh, chief economist, my head of department. This is again in the 2000s. I'm the one, some of you would know that the AG in the back would know that I, I like to do things at the very last minute. Procrastination is my virtue. I procrastinated on this BTOR. I visited Washington. It took me six weeks to write the BTOR. And but if so, never come to say, where is that BTOR? He never did it. He always, and what he did was, when he comes to come a mission, he would First day arrives back, his video are already ready. And that really created a bit of a sense of guilt, sense of, sense of, that's it. Ha. this is the kind of discipline. Never openly says it, but does it. Demonstrate it for us. I'll come to this point later about the deeds and words. So then I promise to. Dr. Ali, he said, this time, please forgive me. In the future, I'll make sure I'll write my BTOR. I'll, I'll submit my BTOR the first day when I come to office after the mission. And I did that, but, and then human beings, I got, what, slided back. AG knows too well how I procrastinate on getting ready for missions to engage. So to do, to be, and to engage. We know the term about family doctor. You know, this is what the President Watanabe, first president, said about the, to, to, be, to be the family doctor. But how do we practice? How do we do it in practice? I've learned so much from a many colleagues. I name a few. One of which is here, Ayumi. He was my boss when we were working together for Indonesia. I learned from so much. I learned so much from him how he engaged with uh, colleagues in country, in Papanas. He knows every deputy director, the uh, deputy chairman, is on good terms with them. This is what the Juan Miranda has been saying. It's about to personalize your relationship. But always keep a distance. That, that distance is integrity. That the distance. You never compromise for, the, for, for other interests. But for the work, this is, I learned so much. Remember that, Amy, we had this um, uh, comprehensive, what is the comprehensive portfolio review missions? 
is basically is cutting down all the investment financings. Make sure it was at the time of uh, East, East Asia financial crisis. Uh, the government cannot, and, uh, uh, cannot afford to finance the development budget. And so scaling back. So that's a very difficult exercise. Reconcile the interest of the central government versus and the project EAs and the uh, local governments. And how through that work, I see, and Ayumi was our mission leader to engage with, with, the, with the, uh, the, the, the counterparts engage. This is the, the thing, family doctor has the meaning. It's about your problem is my problem. Your needs is my priority. How can we, can we work together to, to, to deal with these matters? Another colleague, Juan Miranda, family doctor, been practice. I learned this so, so much. He and I started the CWRD in 2006. We, we didn't know anyone at the time. We had the, the, the annual meeting in Hyderabad in 2006. So all of he and I met with the, 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 the counterpart. What he did was quite interesting, insightful. He always have a scratch of paper with him. Some of you would remember, if you know. With a scratch of paper to discuss, to describe, and to really understand what the delegations, what the countries have in mind. Sometimes it may not be that, that clear. Sometimes they get lost in translation, lost in language. But it is that engagement to really understand the, 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 the uh, uh, counterparts before we start telling them what to do. To lead and to manage. One plus one greater than two. Mathematically not possible, but organizationally, institutionally, it must be the case. Never think about, this is my boss, former boss, bosses, I mentioned it to them, Jerry Van Den Linden. When I became the manager, he said, henceforth, it's not what you do counts, it's what your team does count. I still remember that. I keep remember. I keep uh, making sure that I don't uh, forget about it. So support the managers, getting the, the getting the teams together. Paul Dickey, some of you know, you know, and uh, it's, he has many his 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 colleagues, so very colorful colleagues. But one thing I learned from him is really about bringing teams together. This is something that in early years. When we were, when the Central Asian countries joined the ADB, we were doing the program loan. He was one, well, he was our deputy uh, DG, DG at the time, or deputy director at the time. He put together, he pulled together three teams processing the program loans for Kazakhstan, for Kyrgyzstan, for Mongolia. It's not to copy paste each other. It's to really to contrast, understand conditions and policy measures. Why it is so. It's so that everyone understand. I hope with the PBL's work ongoing, with Vardo's work ongoing, I hope this kind of learning, this kind of management can uh, bring about so-called one, uh, one ADB bank. Same with Ifsa Ali. He's a great manager. He's a great um, manager, chief economist, great manager. Really bring together the department, all his three assistant chief economists. Never make a decision alone. <coughs> Always consult. Always bring about the advantage. Uh, the, 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 uh, not to reach consensus, but to reach a shared understanding. I said about it, in all this, deeds much more powerful than words. I have many stories, many colleagues, because my bosses, my mentors, I can share this. I name a few, a couple of are here. Noriko, 
Ursula Schaefer Proust, Xiaoyi Ma, and uh, we have a colleague here, um, Nassim Ahmad. This is the colleagues. They are, it is through their work, through their exam, being an example, I learned so much about being disciplined, being full of integrity, and have great work ethics. We can say so, we know uh, Osla Schaefer Proust quite well. She can be very stubborn, but the work ethics, the work integrity is just impeccable. Noriko, we all know about it, Noriko. Always have that gentle, graceful, never say anything negative. This is, I've learned so much from her. Xiaoyin, the tenacity she had managing the safeguards work, uh, safeguards policy work um, with Nassim and the other safeguards team. In the midst of all these difficulties we had, and uh, so it is the deeds is much powerful than words. If we were to, I wish I had more time. I can give it. I've actually missed quite a few, many. Uh, if we were to portray, uh, give a sketch of our mentors, of the mentoring experience, what we would have. I put this blank. I have my own take, but you have yours. So I will not impose my take, uh, the, uh, uh, my take on yours. But to me, their resourcefulness, their reliability, the respect for it. And then really focusing on the long-term relationship is what strikes me. And then, in fact, I learned this insight yesterday. I call it Inside Wednesday. I learned from Juliet Commons. It's called Trusted Advisors. She shared this with the induction uh, um, program yesterday. And uh, this is, I, I saw the first time. What we have learned from our bosses, from our mentors, from the work we do in the bank, is really about the trust, really about the creating that credibility and reliability. By the way, on the last one, the third one, and uh, Juliet uh, very nicely uh, renamed it as a relationship, not just uh, not intimacy. And at the same time, let's be mindful not to be self-centric and rather be self-aware. And this is a great kind of and, uh, uh, um, relationship. The mentors, mentees. So in conclusion, I say thank you. Many of you here as my bosses, my mentors.